People call this ravine the Chijia River. Over more than 700 years, various races of people have migrated through here, and over time, they have created a multi-ethnic area. Since the Qing Dynasty's rule from 1644, the Muslims have become the main inhabitants of this ravine. Only the name Chijia River is left to remind us of the early Tibetan Qi tribe who lived here. Lama Dundab, who was named the 14th Dalai Lama, was born in Dutsi Village in Chijia River. After the entire family of the 14th Dalai Lama moved to Lhasa and became renowned there, his clan removed the original small house and constructed this local-style building. In 1956, the front yard became an elementary school, the Dakti School. <laughs> In 1940, the local authority of Tibet, which lay nearly 2,000 kilometers away from Chijia River, recognized the five-year-old boy Lama Dundab as the reincarnation of the 13th Dalai Lama. He was the son of Tibetan peasant Chicho Tsening and his wife Deji Tsening. Many believe that Chijia River was a traditional Tibetan residential area. However, it's hard to tell the Tibetan residents here from other ethnic groups today, other than by their religious beliefs. By the 1930s. The theocratic feudalistic serf system had existed in Tibet for hundreds of years. The monks and bureaucrats enjoyed absolute power and supreme status. Any new idea or action was prohibited or abolished as sacrilege and a threat to the theocratic system. Except for the power struggles in the upper echelons of Tibetan society, it seemed peaceful here. Religious activities dominated society, principally the events in the life of the Dalai Lama. In 1933, the death of the 13th Dalai Lama, Thubten Gyatso, broke the superficial tranquility. Origins in both Mongolian and Tibetan. It means the ocean-like supreme teacher. It was a title bestowed on Sonam Jatso, a senior monk of the Gelug branch of Tibetan Buddhism, by the chief of the Mongolian Tumu tribe under Khan in 1578. Since the Gelugs believe in reincarnation of the living Buddha, this title has been passed down to the current 14th Dalai Lama. In the mid 17th century, the fifth Dalai Lama established the Gelug authority with the help of the Mongolian cavalry. The Qing imperials also consolidated their control over Tibet. In 1653, the fifth Dalai Lama traveled to Beijing to call on Emperor Shunji of the Qing Dynasty. After receiving an official title recognizing his political and religious status, he returned to Tibet, which was ruled by Dalai Lama for the next 300 years. In 1933, the 13th Dalai Lama passed away. The era of the 14th Dalai Lama was about to begin. There's a certain mystique about Tibetan Buddhism, especially concerning the reincarnation of the Living Buddha. The recognition of the reincarnated boy always begins with mysterious and complicated religious ceremonies. Probably, 
The people searching for the reincarnated boy disguise themselves as itinerant monks, pilgrims, businessmen, or even paupers. When they see the four ordained signs, they investigate more thoroughly. They ask if the child in question was born when the last Dalai Lama passed away, whether there is anything magical about him. Then they test the child with articles used by the last Dalai Lama. If he passes the test, the searchers accept him as a candidate. <laughs> <音>这个很重要 这个达赖喇嘛他这个家庭和那一个贵族会的那一个寺庙的关系啊，那就是有特殊关系了。这个关系是非常重要。所以呢，这个事实是达赖喇嘛西藏的达在达赖喇嘛为什么到青海那么远